For iOS users, Siri has become more like a friend, nor just a tool. People get used to ask Siri the time, the weather, the schedule, ask Siri where to go, how to do, etc. Honestly, Siri is probably the one who knows you best. In this video, we'll show you how to use Siri shortcuts to control Broadlink smart home devices. Part 1. Differences between Apple HomeKit and Siri Voice Control. A lot of people are confused with HomeKit and Siri Voice Control, as both let you control your smart bulb by saying Hey Siri, turn on lights. So, what's the difference between if you have a HomeKit light bulb, when you say, Hey Siri, turn on lights to your iPhone, your voice command will be sent to Apple Iclid. Then Iclid will process your voice and convert it to be digital and encrypted message. The control message will be sent to the bulb directly, and the bulb will be turned on. Under this circumstance, all data is processed in Apple's closed loop. If you have a Siri-supported light bulb, not HomeKit, when you say, Hey Siri, turn on lights to your iPhone, the same thing as your voice command will be sent to Apple Iclid, processed there and converted to be digital and encrypted message. The difference is now the control message will not be sent to device directly but trigger Broadlink App API to send the command to Broadlink Cloud. Then Broadlink Cloud will send the control message to the bulb, and the bulb will be turned on. Now let's have a summary. If the device is HomeKit certified, you can speak to any Siri-enabled Apple device with same Apple ID, without duplicated app installation and device setup. Does not require third-party app and extra settings, but just use the built-in Home app on iOS. Support voice control of all functions available on Home app. For example you can say Hey Siri, dim the lights without specifying the exact brightness. But for Siri shortcut you can only control devices to certain fixed states such as Hey Siri, dim the lights to 10%. Also, as an ecosystem, you can interact the device with other HomeKit products originally. However, the disadvantage is obvious. HomeKit is good if you don't care how much it costs you, as the final product cost could be doubled or tripled, compared with normal ones. Also you need to have an extra budget to prepare an Apple TV, HomePod or iPad, to make your products to be controlled remotely if you are outside your home, Apple means expensive. If the device supports Siri shortcut but not HomeKit certified, you can. Get much more choices in the market at very affordable cost. You can easily find a smart plugger bulb under $10 from Amazon, but for HomeKit it is impossible. You can use voice control no matter where you are you don't need to spend extra money to add an Apple TV just for remote control. Of course there are something Siri shortcut can't do. If you want to control them from different Apple devices, you need to install the app and set up shortcut on every Apple device. And Siri shortcut can only control fixed status as we explained before, but most of time it is quite enough. Part 2. How to set a Siri shortcut in Broadlink app. If you already finished the setup of devices, only three steps you can start to use Siri voice control. First, open the device interface. Next, tap the menu in the upper right corner and select property. Last, choose add to Siri, now you can set up the operation. We can choose to set on and off here, or set the brightness of the bulb, also you can ask Siri to start a scene.
You can use these shortcuts in the Siri Shortcuts app. Or, just call Siri. Hey Siri, time for dinner. Okay, done. Hey Siri, let's go party. Okay, done. Broadlink, build your ideal smart life.